Yes, how is your dad? Where is he tonight? At the pub? My name is Tamala Woodard. I had the great pleasure of directing oh, Carol Churchill's okay. Top Girls, Please, one of the out. great plays of the English language canon, certainly of the 20th century here at ACT. This is the last scene of the play, but in actuality, it's the first in chronology. In this moment, Marlene, played by Michelle Beck, she's come home unexpectedly to visit her sister Joyce, played by Nafisa Monroe and her niece, Angie. Do you want to see it? Shall I get it? I can get it for you. This moment actually occurs one year before the first scene that the audience experiences the famous dinner party, which is what I always call the, the sort of favorite dream filled with fantastical, fictional, and historical characters like Pope Joan and Isabella Bird. This last scene is the exact counterpoint to that in all ways. If the first scene is surreal, this is uber real. Extreme naturalism, it unfolds in actually in real time. The time it takes to have the argument is the time that we spend with these, these two sisters on stage. It occurs in a real environment, a worn living room. Uh, built in great detail, a kitchen. It tells the story of a working class woman in stark contrast to Marlene, career-driven, cosmopolitan, sleek, chic, shiny, glass-pillared world. Oh my God. Come on now, you know how you get it. How do I get it? I don't get it. I loved so much the sort of symphony of the language of this play, the overlaps, and building those with the actors. In real life, we talk over each other all the time. But in the theater, oftentimes, you know, we're politely waiting for the other person to finish their sentence. And here, one of the things that was a really fantastic part of the process was figuring out what each of these characters was listening for and listening to that allowed them to begin that overlap. What was it that they were grabbing? The surface is calling. 